What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So one problem that almost everybody runs into at some point is the issue with remotes. I mean, you've got a TV remote, a cable box remote, Roku, Blu-ray player, or whatever else you might have. Well, believe it or not, the best universal remote might actually be the one you already have. So today we're going to talk about a feature that you may not know that your TV has, which is called HDMI CEC. So HDMI CEC actually allows your TV to talk to and control other devices using HDMI. And all you need to get this up and running is to make sure that your devices support the feature and that you have everything connected through HDMI cables. So as you can see, we're actually in my living room today, and that's because this is pretty much a perfect example of this setup. So right here, I have a Samsung NU8000 TV, I have a clip soundbar, and I have a Verizon cable box in the back that's hidden behind the TV. And I also have an Nvidia Shield here. If you're not familiar with the Shield, it's just like a Fire TV or a Roku. All right, so right here, I actually have the Samsung TV remote. This is actually just the remote that came with the TV. There's nothing special about it, and it only has a few buttons on it. But I'm actually gonna use this to show you what I'm talking about. So when I hit the power button on this remote, of course, it's gonna turn on the TV, but it's also gonna turn on this soundbar. So as you can see here, I'm actually hitting the volume button on this remote, and I'm turning the volume up, and it is controlling the volume on the soundbar. So as you can see on the screen, it says receiver HDMI, and that's because it's actually doing this over HDMI right now. Not only that though, but if I hit channel down on this, I'm actually controlling the set top box or the cable box that's hidden behind the TV. And not only can you go up and down on channels, but if I hit the guide button here, push that in, you can see that I can actually navigate through the guide interface right from this TV remote. And to take it even a step further, I can actually hit the numbers button and I can tune directly to a channel. It's actually gonna tune directly to channel 665 on the cable box. And as you can see, there you go, it just switched over to HDTV. So this is actually pretty awesome. I mean, even though this remote only has a few buttons, you can do quite a bit. You can even go back to previous channels. I mean, there's all kinds of functions that you can do right over HDMI without the cable remote. So if you lose your cable remote and you got your TV remote, this is what you can do. All right, so now we're actually gonna switch over. I'm gonna hit the home button on the remote, go over, I'm gonna go to sources, and I'm actually going to go to uh, game console. This game console is actually the Nvidia Shield because it's technically a game console. Again, one remote, this is the interface for the Shield. I'm using the TV remote. I can navigate through this interface and get to everything just like I had the Shield remote. So this is pretty cool stuff. I mean, the same situation, if I hit the volume button, it's still gonna control the volume on the soundbar directly. So I don't even need to have the Nvidia Shield remote. Now this will be no different if you had the Ro a Roku TV or a Fire Stick or something like that, you can still control this. So technically this remote is a universal remote, all because of HDMI CEC. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you is that when I hit the power button, it's actually gonna turn off the TV and it actually turns off the soundbar, even though you can't really tell it did turn the soundbar off and it's also gonna send a signal to whatever device that you were watching at the time. So as you can see, that works perfectly, but you can actually do even more. So over here, I actually have the Nvidia Shield remote. So I'm actually gonna use this to control the TV and the soundbar. So you can actually do this the other way around. So as you can see, I got the Shield remote here. It's pretty basic. It just has a few buttons on it. Nothing special, the volume slider is at the bottom. And if I take this remote and I hit the middle button, the middle icon that's gonna turn on the Nvidia Shield, turn on the TV, and turn on the soundbar. So as you can see, I'm on the Shield interface, the Android TV interface, and if I open up YouTube, it's actually gonna open up the YouTube app, and I'm gonna show you how we can control the soundbar here. Guys, there it is. So for the past, I don't if I hit the volume slider to turn it down, you can see the volume turns down. Perfect, so it's actually controlling this, so it's coming from the Nvidia Shield, to the TV and the TV tells the sound bar to turn down. This is awesome. So it's all controlling this through HDMI. If I slide up, you can see that it actually turns the volume up on the sound bar. So even though the sound bar isn't directly connected to the Nvidia Shield, they can still communicate. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off. So I'm gonna go up to settings and I'm gonna go to sleep now. When I do that, it's gonna turn off the shield, turn off the TV, and turn off the soundbar. So as you can see, it even worked with this remote, so it works the other way around. So even if you don't wanna use your TV remote and you wanna use like a Roku or a Blu-ray player remote or something like that, you can still control the TV, turn the TV on or off, and control the volume on the soundbar as long as everything is connected through HDMI. And what's really cool is that this feature isn't limited to soundbars. I actually use this in my home theater so I can control my home theater receiver using the shield remote, which is really convenient.
All right, so I know you're probably wondering how you get all of this to work, and it's not really that complicated. The very first thing you need to do is make sure that all of your devices are connected through HDMI, whether that be your cable box, Roku, Nvidia Shield like I have there, or your sound bar, everything has to be controlled through HDMI. Once you do that, you're gonna enable a feature called HDMI CEC on your TV. So if you dig through your TV's menu, you should be able to find that setting. You also wanna make sure that the other devices that you have connected to the TV have that feature enabled as well. Now your soundbar, it actually, since it's just controlling the volume, it's actually gonna use what's called ARC or audio return channel. And this basically is the same thing. It's still allowing you to control it through HDMI. So you wanna make sure that your soundbar supports ARC and you're gonna make sure that it is actually in ARC mode. Some soundbars, you do have to enable that. So once you have ARC enabled on your soundbar and you have CEC enabled on everything else, everything is just going to work. Once you turn everything off, sometimes you have to reboot it, maybe unplug it from the wall, plug it back in for it to start working but once you do that everything is going to work perfectly now i understand that not all sound bars have hdmi ports especially if you have an older sound bar so an alternative would actually be the logitech harmony hub now i've done plenty of videos on that but the harmony hub is actually a small hub that just sits on your tv stand and it's going to allow you to control all of these devices using either your voice if you have a google home or an amazon echo or you can control them with your phone now i actually have a harmony hub in all of my rooms so i don't really use remotes that much since we use our voice to do everything but it is pretty awesome and nice to have especially if you lose remotes fairly often or if you just don't want to have to look for them all the time but that's going to pretty much do it for this video guys hopefully you found it helpful if you did as always go ahead and make sure you hit that like button for me don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything post your questions and comments in the comment section i know i'm going to have a bunch of questions about this and i will go ahead and answer your questions thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video